Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, learning as we play, and, well, we're just kind of waiting through a bunch of things. Uh, there there are several factions being created against us, that's fine. We don't mind all that much. Our son and ward, should he be wrathful? No. No, he shouldn't be. Let's make him stubborn, maybe. Stewardship. Bit more healthy, but uh, yeah, that's that's a little bit better for us to fight against. Oh no. Our murder scheme has been exposed, so. Or was it a murder scheme against us? Ooh! Finally! The Abbasid Empire is facing rebellion. That needn't mean it breaks apart. Um, a dissolution war. What does that mean, my boy? What does that mean? Arabian Empire is destroyed and... Okay, so if these guys win, uh, the Abbasid Empire is also done. And they have the upper hand for sure. They have way more troops. So if we were so inclined, right now we could try and press our claims here. Because he is otherwise engaged. And with our allies we actually have a suitable amount of troops but He's likely to only fight us. So we can just wait for him to lose his war. Makes him weaker even more than he is right now. As you can see, the, the number of soldiers is going down as he engages in battles. So we just really have to wait at this point. And that's something I'm not sure a lot of people who play these games realize. Waiting isn't a bad thing here. Waiting can create opportunities way better than any of your active actions, which I like. I enjoy this factor of randomness here. So I would say he just lost a big battle. Yes. Oh no, actually, he actually won the battle, but he, lo he still lost troop in it, of course. Let's see if he can manage. I can purchase a truth. Even if we're not at war. So I can basically preemptively prevent enemies from attacking us. Interesting. Well, it also prevents us from attacking them. So it might not be the very best idea to do. I'm waiting for... For what, actually? This alliance still stands. I was thinking about investing the money, but... I felt like I was waiting for something, so I didn't. Okay, he is an insightful thinker, which isn't bad. Let's get you a wife, shall we? A pretty wife? Yeah, why not? I mean, he, he's sterile anyway, so... Why did I choose that wife? Well. I figured it might be a good idea. <laughs> you know, introduce some inheritable traits to the bloodline. Might not be the worst thing. You never know who might be your heir in a bunch of years. So do we go for more barracks or do we go for the guilds? Oh, unpressed claim on the Shaktum of Tbilisi. 
Where's that? I don't know which one of this is. No idea. Well, that's a holy war. That's not what we want. Holy war. Nope. There should be a claim somewhere. All holy wars. Holy war. Holy war. The way I can tell is basically if there's a little cross here, it's a holy war. I mean, with our allies, we're stronger, but our allies are also quite far away over there, so... I don't like to go to war if I can't properly win it myself. I have in the past, but generally it doesn't work too well. Alright, so taking the popular figurehead thing, uh, all the peasant factions against us have disbanded. That's fine. Who are you? You are there. I, of course, can't attack him personally. I would have to go to war against the whole Abbasid Empire. Which, I mean, he's doing well, surprisingly. The attackers should be absolutely crushing him, but I aren't. Well, maybe I'm reading this wrong. No, I'm reading this right. So the war score is toward his side, so it's minus 9% for them. So, very interesting. I don't exactly know why. But, either way, he's going to come out weaker. And a weak Abbasid Empire, that is just what we would like next door. Okay, let's build the Guild Hall. The earlier we get the growth bonus, the better. So that's the whole duchy here. We are really unfortunate in how we are sitting, honestly. Really, really quite unfortunate. Okay, he's in battle again somewhere. Why? How are you winning this so well? Oh, okay, he, he's sieging something somewhere. How is this happening? How are you winning? He's somewhere here. So he's either going there or deeper here. Alright. Plush, vibrant and soft as the first light of dawn a merchant presents me with an exquisite carpet in the hopes of a good future relation. As I marvel at the fine weave, I am struck by the thought, wouldn't a carpet like this muffle the treading of feet? Even conceal the steps of a bumbling agent? So we will uh, give this and either she takes it and has a nice carpet, or she suspects something and becomes extra vigilant, which she suspects something. So, yeah, we're not doing well. We're not, we're a just man. We... We actually don't want to hurt anyone, so all of this is kind of, kind of against what we what we stand for. It feels like he's gaining soldiers. Excuse me. What kind of rebellion are you people running down there? You have, d well, you had doubled the troops when you started this. How are you failing so hard? Just catch him. Just kill him. I don't even know where they are. Like, they're not sieging anything anywhere. Okay, let's try with the with the poisoned coin again. And maybe our son steals it once more, as he has in the past. A fool. <sighs> nope, our daughter. Why is everyone in our household stealing? And always stealing the poisoned coin, too. Why not steal the unpoisoned coin? 
Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I am fascinated. We could try and find him. You can jump to them. So there are some of his troops. It's a... Uh, we, just because we share a border, we can look in here. Otherwise, it's all covered by fog of war. But he's being beaten by a literal child who is deeply in debt. What is this? Profligate. Profligate. He likes to spend money. Who doesn't? Let's be honest. Spending money is fun. I am still dreading succession. It's always a bit of a tough thing. Not only are you losing the person that you have gotten to know, but also you have to undo all the damage that the succession does. Breaking apart the realm. All that. But it's nice to watch, you know, from the outside, seeing what's going on here. So one of the war score things that goes up is this one. Uh, held objectives. So when these declared their war, they need to take his territory. Not all of it, mind you, but a bunch. And they haven't taken any. So um, he's actually quite an advantage. But the second they start taking something... Um, this is going to go down quick. So there's still a good chance of this turning around. Uh, just a matter of when they manage to get their troops where they need to be and do something that actually matters instead of bumbling about. Alright. You want a war? Oh boy. Kazaria is also... Is Kazaria right now the biggest thing? Well, not power-wise, but terrain-wise it might just be... It might just be. And we're just this little spot here. I mean, we're not so little anymore. We, we have grown a little bit. And we'll have to try our best to keep that going. So what's going on? Blessed are the meek. Yeah, you remain humble. It's all good. We don't have the barracks innovation. So some we can't upgrade because we don't have the money, some we can't upgrade because our culture doesn't have the thing yet. Ah, uh, that's the wrong one, this here. And we are not the head of our culture, so we don't get to say in what we're basically going for. Supply them in hills. All this is pretty good, what we got here. We are stoic. All Armenian characters have a small health boost against disease. Stress gain, minus 15%. Friendly, fatter, casualties, minus 15%. And defender advantage. That's all good, honestly. If it is a pond for carbs you're interested in, I can build you a terrific one, my lord. The builder before me has a good credential, and my courtiers seem very excited about the prospect. <laughs> well, we could get some experience, lose some more gold. Or we can tell him to stop wasting our time, and I think... It's not a prudent thing. What do we what are we doing a carp pond for? We have bigger fish to fry, quite literally. We have we have to build up 
for our son's inevitable... I could build this up, right? Oh, by the way, this isn't a bad place. Look at this. Okay, that, that's important. Let's have a quick discussion about county size and white manners. So, this here isn't as well developed as our home county. Um... Because we've invested here way more. But, look at this. We have four slots plus a duchy building. We don't have that here. Uh, that is a problem. Because duchy buildings can be quite powerful. And, uh, well, we, we don't have an option. So, moving over eventually might even be a good idea. To make this our headquarters. But, uh, the duchy here is a little bit... You know, problematic. I don't think we're going to do anything against the Khazars anytime soon. We might. We have more troops, but don't be fooled. They have horses. And horses absolutely slaughter uh, most things. Unless you go ahead and specifically build up your men at arms to be good against horses. Which we are not. So, um, yeah. They would slaughter us if, if we tried. So, but it's a good idea to keep an eye out for these things. There are several places in the world that make for pretty decent headquarters. Uh, we actually... I don't, I don't think we have one, to be quite honest. Not within our borders. Well, this one we have. but This one here would be good. And since it's on a coast, you also get more options to build. So how are you doing? Troops are going down again. Oh, no. Oh, he was imprisoned. Oh, so this war is over, basically. Oh! Look at this! Amazing. Both the Byzantine and the Abbasid Empire are down. I am beside myself. Because this means we can press in here. Okay, let's, let's make... Ooh. Oh, excitement floods me. <laughs> Now, that's not what I want. This. So he holds all this. This. You. We have a claim against this. What is this? We have two. Oh, we can. Oh, we oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm excited. Ooh, I am excited. Okay, we have a real chance. We have a real chance now. Um, okay, you have 2,500 troops, yeah? 3,500. If we take this little bit here, we can usurp the duchy title. We would have to call in all our allies, but look at that. He is in, in deep debt. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do this. This is our very best option, I think. <sighs> or is it? I mean, he is allied as well. So we would be basically fighting everyone. Kinda. Oh my. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. I'm excited. Okay, we're gonna try this. We are also, for the first time... Call our allies into war and we're going to call all of them. Please come. It costs us some prestige, but it's fine. Uh, we will raise our troops here. And we will immediately walk in here. Now we need to check which is the right one. This one here with the crown. This is what we need to take. Now, there might be enemy troops coming from here. But he's gonna link up with his ally. I don't think he's gonna attack us. So we want to get started on the thing that this battle is actually about before we engage in any actual wars. How old are we? 59, okay. There's still a chance. Now, a duchy costs us a good chunk of money, so we need to save this up at the moment. Which we are, which is nice. Our allied army is standing right next to us in, in case something happens. Our enemies are going to move from the south and try and link up and, you know, face us full force. 
Uh, there should be some allies coming from over here. Is it them? No. Um, I don't know where they are. Oh, what's going on here? A secret is exposed. I quite honestly don't care. Um, crime will not go unpunished. A mayor is imprisoned. And I don't, I don't, I don't care. I don't care at all about what's going on here. Okay, so what we need to hope for is that our allies actually join our army once battle is commenced. That's what we need to hope for here. They might go and siege us. But hopefully building up our uh, forces will will have had the right effect. Increasing the fortifications here. Alright, so our ally is going to move and try and stop that. Or they're going to join us, I'm not entirely sure. Domain limit plus two, we don't need that. Okay, so we will win this siege and then we move to counter the attack on our own holdings. Okay, there's the rest of our alliance. Alright, come on, let's go. Our allies will walk with us. And... Um, the <laughs> It might not work out in our favor, but uh, he's moving away. So we'll see. Maybe we catch a bit of his army. Sometimes that happens. And that, of course, is the ideal... Yes. Okay, we got cut. We got a third of his army. Uh, two thirds of his army. So obviously we're going to win in that battle. He might go and try and counter siege here. Um, and we're going to actually try and head him off. Oh, very good. Available Dynasty leg Legacy. Now, okay, this uh, this is a second tree, basically. This is not character, but for all your characters, current and future. And what do we want to be? Hunt and Feast cost, minus 30%. I think we have been very lawful, so I think mostly fair is right. I'm, I like the I like the RP approach there. I don't, I don't think you need to min-max this. And we have been trying to be just, so that makes sense. Maybe she's killed, maybe she's not, I don't care. Okay, she is killed, but everyone knows we are the murderer. That's suboptimal. Not exactly what we wanted. And we have gained rival. Okay, well. Understandable to a degree. Um where is he going? We'll just follow. See if we can't head him off. Right now the armies are split. And we just won. Because an enemy left the war. Okay, I'm just... I'm Sorry, I'm not going to read into this. I just want to enforce this. So be it. Um... All good. All good, we won. Okay, so next step. Next step. Next step. We need 250 gold. This is all we need. This is what we're waiting for. We want to form the Duchy of Georgia. Oh, we actually don't have the prestige. Well, we get the prestige. We need the money. We need the money. We, we don't go on a hunt. Right now, it's just all about saving up the money. Because if we have this and we die, then everyone stays within the realm. All our brothers will become our subjects. Uh, Lev, low control? Oh no. Let's take care of that here. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. These are the moments where your blood gets really pumping because suddenly a, a opportunity presents itself which which wasn't there before and suddenly you have something to oh i understand what happened oh okay he died or he absorbed it or something interesting stuff do we stay lustful or do we become chaste now we stay lustful we are a lustful murderer 
Everyone likes us a little less for this, but... Boy, oh boy. Just 10 more gold. We're almost there. I can almost smell it. The Duchy of Georgia, here we come. And we come out of our hole, of our prestige hole. Come on now, come on. Oh, so close. There we go. Created. Amazing. We are now a mighty prince. Nice. Okay, let's check our succession again. As you can see, we will lose titles on succession, but only counties. We will keep the duchy title and some counties, so we can still try and get those counties back from our brothers, which, you know, we might not have to. Um, ah, oh, very good. We did it. This is like the, the most important thing after keeping your bloodline alive in the early game. Get a higher title so your stuff doesn't get broken up. Oh boy, I don't know what that was. I clicked it too late. Oh, prisoners can be ransomed. Let's let's go. Yes, thirty gold. Thank you. We need gold again, and fifty gold. Of course, you can be ransomed. No problem. And we can declare more wars now. Okay, because we are out of the woodworks. I don't care about the hunt. Oh, I don't care. Okay, something that we need to take care of now as we expand or try to expand further. If there is the opportunity for a new duchy title being created, it will be created upon succession. So your realm might still be split. Um, so if you make sure that you only take bits and pieces that do not allow for the creation of a new duchy upon succession, you're good. And how do you have... Oh, okay. You have a bunch of allies in Italy. That's how it is. Um, oh, boy. I, I'm sure you can tell, but I'm, I'm really still... I'm quite excited. Oh, my, my, my. So we could take this because it wouldn't give us a new claim on the duchy. We could just take it and it would make us bigger and stronger. Um, and it wouldn't be a problem. But if we took more, say, in this direction, like we took these two counties, that would allow a new duchy to be formed or usurped and that would just be a thing then so we would have to be quite careful about that but boy oh boy oh boy oh boy am i excited right now man that's fantastic that was really good i'm gonna stop it here because it's such a high note and i don't want to deal with succession real real soon and man this is this is fantastic uh thank you very much for watching this is how you can make things happen sometimes you just sitting around seeing things happening and then taking the opportunities as they present themselves is ah this game i swear well thanks for watching i hope you learned something uh if you did let me know down uh, down in the comments and see you around next time i hope until then bye bye